The August jobs report tomorrow will add important data to a quickly shifting labor market as investors continue to digest Fed Chair Powell's hawkish commentary last week. Based on what we see so far, is the labor market significantly loosening heading into Q4? John Fort is here to weigh in. John. Hey, Melissa. No, the labor market isn't loosening to a degree that matters. I know there are headlines about layoffs, but that doesn't tell the whole story. What needs to happen is for demand to cool enough that businesses can find the workers they need at a predictable price, and it's not. I mean, the job openings in labor turnover survey this week showed more than 11 million open positions, about a million more than expected in July. People quit and got fired at about the same rate as June. Job openings rose in every category but manufacturing. Demand for workers is still stubbornly high. So what happens now? Well, the supply of available workers isn't getting bigger. That means wages probably keep going higher. Okay, and about the layoffs, sure, there are more of them, but hires and unfilled openings don't get splashy headlines, given, e even though there's a lot of that, too. And then there's this reality. No business wants to get caught flat-footed with the workforce heading into the seasonal demand of Q4, especially after being short-staffed the last couple of years. So demand for workers is probably going to stay unusually high, even with the turbulence, Melissa. Things uh, are changing so quickly, John. Isn't a lot of this data old? Well, <laughs> On the other hand, uh, there is evidence that the labor market is loosening quite a bit. The JOLTS data showing all those open jobs was from July. That's a month and kind of an eternity ago. In July, stocks surged off their lows. Uh, since the end of July, the market's now lower. The ADP jobs report this week showed companies slashed the pace of hiring in August to half the level of July. And almost three out of four of those jobs were in leisure and hospitality. Summer's over. The thing to watch here is that conditions were shifting quickly in August. Snap said this week it's cutting 20% of employees. So is Bed Bath & Beyond. Robinhood cut 23% in August. Peloton made a 20% cut earlier this year, and in August cut 800 more. Best Buy cut hundreds in August, too. So most of this is happening because of weakening demand. And what's the Fed saying? Well, a lot more rate hikes ahead to further weaken demand. So the labor market is loosening for real right now. We won't see it in the data for another month or two. And by then, we'll be talking about the holiday sales outlook instead. But November 1st, quiet quitting will have gone the way of the metaverse, Melissa. <laughs> John, thank you.